find the points on the sphere. X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared equals to four. That are closest. And for this, To the point three one negative one three one and negative okay very good first of all remember that the distance formula the distance formula is defined as x minus x sub zero which is three to the second power plus y minus y sub zero which is one to the second power plus z minus z sub zero or z plus one to the second power. This is the function that we try to maximize or minimize. We want to maximize, minimize this function and the constraint given to us is this guy here. However, to maximize or minimize this function, if you maximize or minimize the quantity inside the radical, then you're done. We use the quantity inside the radical. If you have a maximum value inside the radical, your radical is maximized. If you have a minimum value inside the radical, the radical is minimized. So f of x, y, and z is equal to, here we have x minus three squared plus y minus one squared plus z plus one squared. And the constraint g, x, y, z is the following, x squared, plus y squared plus c squared equals to four. So let us apply the method of Lagrange multipliers and try out this to do the algebra. So for the calculus part, the gradient of f is equal to lambda gradient of g. So here you have two x minus three comma two one min y minus one comma two z plus one equals to lambda two x 2y and 2z. Very well. Don't forget to distribute lambda and then set the components equal to each other. What do we have? We have 2 times x minus 3 equals to lambda 2x. 2 times y minus 1 equals to lambda 2y and 2 times x, sorry, z minus z plus 1 equals to lambda to z. From the very first equation, lambda can be written as x minus 3 divided by x, or let's just write down the whole thing, x minus 3 equals to lambda x from the second equation, y minus one equals to lambda y. And this equation, z plus one equals to lambda z. Very well. So if I bring all x's to one side, I have lambda x minus x equals to negative three or x becomes negative three divided by lambda minus one or three divided by one minus lambda. Both of them are acceptable. From the second equation, lambda y minus y is equal to negative one or y is negative one over lambda minus one. And from the last equation, what do we have? We have lambda z minus z equals to one or z equals to one over lambda minus one. 
we're going to take these and plot them into the constraint. Since x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to four, it means that negative three over lambda minus one to the second plus negative one over lambda minus one to the second plus one over lambda minus one to the second is four, pure algebra. So here we have nine over lambda minus one to the second plus one over lambda minus one to the second plus one over lambda minus one to the second is equal to four. So what's the meaning of that? It means that 11 over lambda minus one to the second is four or lambda minus one to the second is 11 over four. Very good. So we're doing just pure algebra. Here, lambda minus one is equal to plus minus square root of 11 divided by two. So lambda is one plus minus square root of 11 divided by two. We found the lambda. Now we're going to go back to x, y, and z and do the calculation. So substitute lambdas, lambda equals to one plus square root of 11 over two, and lambda equals to one minus square root of 11 over two in x, y, and z. X, Y, and Z. You found lambda. You just need to calculate your X, Y, and Z. After doing the calculation, your X and Y and Z are going to be as follows. Your X is going to be 6 divided by square root of 11. Your Y is 2 over square root of 11. And your Z is negative 2 over square root of 11. Then by having your x, y, and z, you can find the distance. The second point, negative six over square root of 11, negative two over square root of 11, and finally two over square root of 11. The closest distance is from the first point, and the farthest distance is going to be from this point. It's not very hard to visualize this. So this is going to be the closest distance to the sphere and to this point, and farthest. Another application of Lagrange multipliers in finding the distance. 